Okay, we're doing problem number 75 on page 261. The average speed of a highway vehicle. The average speed of a vehicle on a stretch of 134 between 6 a.m. and 10 a.m. on a typical weekday is approximated by the function f of t equal to 20t minus 40. I'm going to change that square root of t to t to the 1 half and plus 50. And the domain is t between 0 and 4 where 0 represents 6 a.m. and 4 represents 10 a.m. The function calculates the average speed um, of the vehicle um, during time t as t ranges from 6 in the morning till 10 in the morning. Now it wants to find the interval where f is increasing and f is decreasing. So to do that I'm going to have to take a derivative. So 20 minus the 1 half comes down and multiply the negative 40 get minus 20 t to the minus 1 half. And I'm going to set that equal to 0. Also, I'm going to write that as second term as 20 over the square root of t. Now, in this situation, I have a couple terms equal to 0. A couple terms on the right, subtracted, equal to 0. If I can combine uh, the right side as one fraction, I can then set the numerator equal to 0 to find where the derivative is 0, and then set the denominator equal to 0 to determine the critical points where the derivative doesn't exist. And I can get all my critical points that way. So I'm going to take the, the first term 20 and get a common denominator with the second term. I'm going to have to multiply it by the square root of t over the square root of t. Now bringing those together. 20 square roots of t minus 20 over the square root of t. And factoring out a 20 in the numerator. So the numerator is equal to 0. Um, when the square root of t minus 1 is equal to 0, or t is equal, square root of t is equal to 1, or t is equal to 1. So that's one critical point. Another critical point is where the denominator is equal to 0. That's where the derivative wouldn't exist. And that would give me t equal to 0. So I have two critical points. I've got 1 at 0 and 1 at 1. Now let's explore what the derivative is doing in those intervals that are separated by the um, 0 and 1. I'm going to plug a 2 into the derivative, and that will give me a positive value. And 1 half would probably be as good a test point as any for the values between 0 and 1, and that produces a negative. And what that says that the original function is decreasing on the interval from 0 to 1 and increasing on the interval from 1 to, well, infinity, but um, we're only going out to 4. So what's, uh, what this is saying is that the, the average speed of the vehicles um, at 6 a.m., is decreasing until 7 a.m. and then the uh, the average speed of the vehicles, in other words traffic is picking up speed a little bit and continues to increase in speed all the way to 10 a.m. So it appears that uh, we could go on to say at 7 a.m the speed of the traffic hits a low point, so that's a relative minimum. And then, uh, in other words,
afterwards it continues to decrease from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. and then it it starts in the other direction, starts increasing. So we hit a we hit a low average speed at 7 a.m. and uh, how would that be interpreted? Well, it may be that uh, at 7 a.m. Um, or at 6 a.m. there's not a lot of people on the road, maybe, uh, but there there are people, um, you know coming into traffic going to work so the average speed of the traffic is slowing down and at 7 a.m. it really hits the lowest point point. Um, and then as people um, get to work and get off the road um, um, speed of the average speed of the traffic starts to pick up and continues to increase all the way to 10 